Good morning, everybody. Do you see this? This is my to-do list. Things I need to get done. Some of them are chores. Some of them are helping other people. And a lot of them are things that God is showing me to do. Some of them are easy and some of them are difficult. And some of them seem almost impossible. There are so many of them. What do I do first? How can I ever finish them all? What can I do? Do you have any ideas for me? Did I hear somebody say pray and ask God to help me? That's right. I should have stopped and done that before I got so worried about all of it. In the Bible, in Philippians 4, 6, and 7, it says, Do not be anxious about anything, but in everything, by prayer and petition, with thanksgiving, present your request to God. And the peace of God, which transcends, which passeth all understanding, will guard your hearts and minds in Christ Jesus. And in Philippians 4.13, it says, I can do everything through him who gives me strength. And in Romans 8.37, it says, No, in all these we are more than conquerors through him who loved us. In our Superbook Adventure today, we are learning about a man named Gideon. It's from the Old Testament book of Judges, chapters 6 and 7. Gideon described himself as from the weakest clan in Manasseh, and he was the least in his family. But the angel of the Lord had said to Gideon, The Lord is with you, mighty warrior. And God would lead him to defeat a mighty enemy army with only 300 men. So that Israel could not boast that it was by their own strength they were saved, but that it was by God's deliverance. In fact, after the great victory, the Israelites said to Gideon, Rule over us, you and your son and your grandson." But Gideon said, I will not rule over you. The Lord will rule over you. What are some things in your life that seem impossible? Pray and ask God. Let's pray together now. Dear God, our Heavenly Father, we just come to you through Jesus. We praise you that we can come to you and share anything that we have all of the impossible things in our lives, and even the simple things, that we can praise you and know that you are greater than all of those and that you are with us to see us through it. Dear God, we just thank you again to come to you through Jesus to worship in spirit and truth today. And just we hold up each and every one of the ones listening today and their families. You know the needs in every family. And we just hold them up to you and and give you all thanks that you are with us through everything and that you know our needs and everything that uh, lies ahead for us. We do ask you to be with all of our uh, missionary friends too um, throughout the world all the things that they are going through as well and and once again we bring to you all the medical people and first responders all the people that are working hard to take care of us and and that are um, being careful that we um, can have uh, things that we need lord and we just praise you and thank you for all that you do and again we thank you for your incredible love and that you are great and that you can be with us and help us through anything that comes in our lives we love you lord in jesus name amen now can you sing with me i want to go deep I want to obey. I want to love God more every day. I'll trust and believe that people can see. I want to go deep down, deep down, deep. Now, face not supposed to be ankle deep, ready to swim. It's time to leap. 
I'm not wading in instead. I'm going in over my head. I want to go deep. I want to obey. I want to love God more every day. I'll trust and believe so people can see. I want to go deep, down, deep, down, deep. Deep, down, deep, down, deep. Deep, down, deep, down, deep. Remember, Jesus loves you, and so do I. May God bless and keep you until we meet again. Now, let's watch our Superbook Bible adventure together. Today, and it's Gideon.